Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and we are back with another speed build video of our city zoo where we are building in our South America dome in our city zoo. So this dome is heavily themed with the South America pike, but on the outside we will not see it, so it will still be in the style of our city zoo. So yeah, I'm just really happy to share this episode with you guys. But before we start, I really want to wish you and your loved ones a very happy Easter. Hope you will have a great day today and maybe tomorrow too. I'm not really sure there are like two Easter days too in other countries because I do know that people in the Netherlands sometimes have an extra day also with like Christmas, which is, yeah, well, not everywhere. So yeah, whatever you're doing with Easter, I really hope you're all having a great day. Even though we are in some weird circumstances, I still hope you guys will enjoy. During this episode, we're going to build a giant anteater habitat together. Well, not together, and a separate Aldera giant tortoise habitat next to this giant anteater habitat. So we're having two habitat builds in one episode today. And I really wanted to start off with the giant anteater and having some kind of lowered area. So really a separate area where our guests really have to walk down to a different path to have a look at the giant anteaters. It's mostly a little bit hidden because I left some space open in between so we could make it more dense looking with the beautiful trees and then beautiful plants that we have in the game. And what I'm really curious for is I really would like to hear like we are playing the pack now for a few days and we did a poll before the pack launch, like what is your animal that you're most excited for? But now I'm very curious if that is still the same. So I'm really curious what animal of the pack right now is like your most favorite animal. Obviously no one has to guess for me because the jaguar is definitely my most favorite animal. I just really love the jaguar. They're so freaking beautiful. But also I do have to admit the giant anteater is really a super amazing animal and I really love the animations of the giant anteater, especially with like the termite mound. So yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun to build this habitat for them. And I really wanted to have like several viewing points for this habitat, so not completely open. In this case, the giant anteater has some more privacy and private areas in their habitat. And also I used a one-sided glass. So whenever the guests are looking into the habitat, they really still have their own privacy and will not be disturbed by any guests around them. So we have three different viewing areas for the guests to look into the habitat. And because it's pretty thin, but it's a very long habitat, it's very easy for the guests. So if they are walking around the giant anteaters and even if they are like sleeping on their spot, what I made for them, the guests can still pretty up close see the animals. So that is really cool. So we have two more open viewing areas and one more with the use of the temple ruins with like that little window inside of it. We also use for the Jaguar. I just really love that little peek through you have and then I used in this scenario the one-sided glass too to put down inside of that wall so you won't really see it but the guests will look into the enclosure through the one-sided glass but the animals are not able to see the guests either from that side so I really like that and also the use of the bamboo in the corners of the viewing galleries to really give that feeling that you are looking somehow maybe through the nature to the animals in their natural environment, even though it's not a natural environment because this is still more of the temple ruins theme that I just really like to use in this temple. Something, I, I think this is going to be the most thematic theme of all the areas in our city zoo though. But it's a lot of fun to have a little bit of variation in our zoo. And also I saw someone mentioning this like, oh, if you're going to do this, maybe you can also do some kind of winter dome with like the arctic pack and that was actually something i was thinking of while i was building this dome like 
it would be a lot of fun to maybe do something with a very cold environment with some colder animals. Not specifically the polar bear, but I don't know yet. But I really want to build some kind of really big and beautiful habitat for the polar bears in our zoo. But I wonder if that is really possible. I remember with the Arctic Pack when it launched, and I wanted to build a habitat for them in the franchise mode series we did. It was so humongous still and I really wonder how, how do you guys do it if you build a habitat for a polar bear are you building it with like in sandbox mode I'm talking about so not franchise mode because then you really are forced to use like the big size I wonder if people are just not using them in franchise mode because they're one they need a lot of space and two they're pretty expensive if you use a lot of coolers so, but if you build a habitat for polar bear in the sandbox mode, do you really stick with like the size of the polar bear or do you make it a little bit smaller maybe? Or maybe you're playing around with like an area underneath the ground to give them more space but still have like a smaller area where the guests really can see them. I'm really curious how you guys do it if you build a polar bear habitat. So please do let me know in the comment section down below. I do have to admit I really love how the habitat of the polar bears in Rotterdam Zoo is like even though I still think that in real life that zoo is not having the right size for them but I do really like the underwater viewing gallery they have it's like a very big open space with like a lot of water and it's just so awesome to see the polar bear swimming there so yeah it's definitely something I'm thinking of but I'm really curious how you guys approach it to build a habitat for those polar bears and yeah if you really stick with the size the game tells you to or that you make it a little bit smaller do let me know in the comment section down below I'm really curious to read your thoughts about this so after this habitat we're going to build the ultra giant tortoise habitat and as I mentioned in one of the previous previous episodes I wanted to do something with some kind of restaurant well it turned out that I didn't have that much space as I thought to build a restaurant so it's more like a little small food corner with like a more raised platform where the people can have a look up close to the algebra giant tortoise but the rest of the habitat has some more water in between the animals and the guests so I really gave the algebra giant tortoise a little bit more space so you have one viewing gallery that is more up close but the rest is more a little bit further away because of the water in the middle and also I used one of the areas to create a waterfall because the murky waterfall I really just wanted to test out and see how that was looking and I think it looks really well I think it does look better when you just use this in a more natural environment. I think it doesn't really matter for these indoor habitats too much to use the murky water instead of the normal waterfalls. But I just really wanted to see how it was looking and created some kind of more dense jungle feeling around it with also some mist particles because I thought that would be just really cool. So yeah, that is right next to the algebra giant tortoise habitat just to give a more natural and dense looking feeling and they have more of like a sandy habitat but also as if you're like on an island which is like very overgrown and jungly and then you have like this beach side around it it's it's very small so you have to use your imagination a little bit but I really try to get that kind of approach for the habitat and I think it looks really nice and there's also a peek through from the other side of the gi ant giant ant eaters to look at the waterfall and that little dense waterfall section just to give a little bit of that feeling of it even though we're still in a zoo and this is all very thematic so it's not all realistic or anything like that and this is just more of the theme I really went for for like with a lot of the temple particles but as I mentioned in so many episodes, I really want to do something still with a big reptile house which is gonna be more natural instead of like using these temple feelings. So I still have a lot of cool ideas for a big reptile house which is going to be super different from this whole dome but because of the South America pack I really wanted to do something like this. So I'm just really curious and hope that I can inspire you guys with how you can use the South America pack in this kind of way and obviously this dome is now almost finished. We're only going to build a black jaguar habitat 
And after that, it's completely finished. So then we're going to move on just with our normal zoo. And I really want to build also a habitat for the llama. So I'm not really sure yet how I want to do that. But that is something still really on my list. But I might put the llamas a little bit closer to the African animals instead because I just don't really feel they fit into this dome or anything like that and I'm not really sure if I also already want to start building around this dome just yet. So I might just squeeze them in somewhere around the African animals, the area where we are already building. But yeah, I'm not sure, maybe you guys have a cool idea or anything like that. And yeah, I'm just also really excited to just get back to the normal city zoo work we are doing. And if you guys have any ideas or suggestions at always, please do let me know in the comment section down below. And for those who are asking, like, are you going to recreate the whole Rotterdam Zoo? No, don't worry. Obviously, this whole dome is nothing inspired by Rotterdam Zoo at all. And there are still some buildings I would love to build from Rotterdam Zoo, but we're definitely not going to do a whole recreation of it or anything like that. And still, it's not even a recreation. It's mostly inspired by Rotterdam Zoo. But I'm really still open for any of your suggestions for any other city zoos you know of that we could use for inspiration and specifically what kind of habitat and what kind of animal you are thinking of that would really fit in this zoo with that specific habitat to use as inspiration. So yeah, do let me know in the comments section down below. I'm not going to do a tour at the end of this video because I noticed that it was a little bit laggy. I'm not really sure what that is or that I maybe put down something or too many that it was a little bit laggy. So. In this video, I'm going to do some cinematic shots and I will try to do a zoo tour when the whole dome is finished in the next episode. So yeah, leave a like at the video if you guys enjoy and subscribe of course if you haven't already. And let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of this build and I really hope to see you guys all in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys!